What do we got here? Who do we got here, kid? What? A special day. Special day for you today, kid. Yeah, I know. Eward Ariel. What's up, Lou? That's all, that's all we How are you? Good to see you, kid. Oh, Oreo cookie. Get inside. Get inside. Back. <laughs> Back up to where you came from. <laughs> Wow, he listens. Oreo he listens. listens to Lou, man. He listens to me. Better than me. This guy, I gotta kick him in his head. How you feeling today? Tired, but I'm good. Yeah, me too. I'm tired, but it's a long day. You know? Long ass day, but uh, we'll have a little bit of this, and then I have to go home, put my toys away. You know, we're gonna unbox a nice new heart today. Huh? What is it? Almost 9 p.m. Friday night. Gonna do a new heartbeat. Exactly. Good, see, good. Here, when you come over and you're in John's house, you see it, it's gorgeous. But when it, you're at the track, he puts it down, takes it off, you don't even chance to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me feed this real quick. Yeah. Today we're gonna, we got Lou in the house. It's a Friday night. We're gonna do a quick unboxing, special unboxing. Damn, all these guys are over here ready to take my hand out. They're about to take my arm out here. Oh my lord. What? Yeah. Yeah, that thing was ready to crack, man. All right, let me feed these guys real quick. What we got here? We got panties. We got some panties, kid. I haven't touched this car in two weeks. Look at that. Look at that back side. Look at that. And she wearing her panties. Look at that. Look at that. You can't say no to that. Everyone knows who Lou is. I call him AKA the Professor. All right, been around for a long time. He's been drag racing for a long time. So I'm just getting text messages from Chris Bartolone as we speak. Uh, I'm going to give him a shot. I got to see what messages he just sent me. He sent me some pictures. So I got to take a look. That's but, technology. Uh, see? <laughs> technology. technology. <laughs> so Lou right here, he's got a YouTube channel. Check him out. Follow him. Uh, if you, he'll help you out with drag racing stuff. And many other th stuff. So this guy, is, he, he's really good with the Baja platform. Super good. Uh, he even makes his own parts in the past. Right now he's rebuilding his Baja, his drag Baja. He's, he's done so many Bajas, it's unbelievable. And rebuilding your old Baja. And dragsters. And he's got my old Baja. Remember that 30.5 uh, that we, we ran? With the up? spark plug? The, that one. You guys remember that video? Uh, yeah. I had a head shim issue. That Rover never shimmed that head correctly. That's why I had the extra compression. That thing was badass. He's got that Baja. And the body's going to be hand-wrapped. So. Hand-wrapped hand body, wow. Hand-wrapped body. So everybody, take a look. See what he's going to do. We're going to check out his new heart, his new engine here today, together. And uh, we're going to open up uh, that one. That one is mine. This one here, again, is for my buddy, Batter Al. We're going to unbox when I get a chance. That's going to go over to Kuwait, kid, to stir up the pot. All right, my man's name, I'm gonna say it today, Batter Ferris. And my man races there, all right? He does sand dune racing, and now they're gonna be doing some on-road racing over at Kuwait, man. Uh, can't wait to see that. And who knows, I may even show up to one of them events. You know what I'm saying? I may show up there, I have no problem. I, I'd love to go to Kuwait, kid. All right, my man, you gotta see my man's house over there. It's got a serious RC man cave, bro, serious. Next level, kid. And I want to give a big shout out to the Zoomer team. All right, that's the name of their group. You know how Lou's, Lou's a part of the RC Drag Racing All Scales group. And my man, Batter Farris, is from the Zoomer team, kid. All right, so big shout out to everyone in the Zoomer team. So we got a, and this is Lou's engine here. Oh, oh. I'm getting another text from Chris Bartolome. Let's see, before we unbox this, let me just see what he just sent here because he's sending some pictures here. Maybe, maybe, I don't know what it is, but if it's something Zach, I may give you a special sneak peek here, all right? Just hold on a sec. Let me turn this off for a sec. That's a good, that's a good, very busy. Oh my Punching God. Punching like cookies. Did you see the Zanica feather? Did you see that goodies? Did you see that? Now those are reed cases made just for the Roven 45 head. All right. 
No comparison, bro. Hold up, man. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be an unboxing of Lou's new heart. But did you see that goodies? Even Lou is like, that boy works hard, man. Works that boy, hard. That guy, Lou is like, yo, that boy is crazy. That's a cookie cutter that going on. You see all them pipes? Oh my god. And also there, all them pipes he's starting to bang out. Oh my god. Yo. So you see that though that sexy billet read case? Huh? Hell no. Do you see that beautiful real Oh my god, I can't wait to get my Brovin engine. Bartolone slash Rovin 45 read case. I call it Brovin, alright? Thanks to RC Ohio. Let's use this brand new knife. I just picked up this new knife today. I have so many knives. I have good knives. I have cheap knives. I have blade knives. I have these utility knives. I love knives. All right, but today, check it out. I got this Milwaukee knife today. Awesome. It's like a five-in-one. It's got a, like a screwdriver. This comes out. It has a flat head. This is also a quarter-inch hex drive. Uh, it's nice. You have a, like a little bottle opener here. You know what I'm saying? You got a little button. It's just not, it, it's not assisted, you know, because the New York, the, so many damn rules and laws in New York, you can't have nothing assisted or whatever, but hey, you be the first. Lou is going to be, damn. Yeah. Why handle knives all day at my job? So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, my man's got practice with that shit, right? But um, he's going to be the very first person using my knife and... Which one? This one? We're unboxing the, the, uh, a beautiful heart. Let's let's see what's up. This is yours, buddy. I, I hope so. <laughs> look, everybody, look right here. All I did was I took this little guy. Mind you, my building I opened nine years. Very sharp. Hardly the pressure. Okay. Look. Thank God. It, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I'm gonna have to tape that shit up. I'm gonna no, have to reuse this. Tape. No, we'll take, we'll take. But yo, thank God you didn't ruin no, this I shirt. No, I cut right through it. If Man. I went through the middle. Uh, yeah. That yeah. would have been it for that. So the phone cut off again. That was Chris uh, Bartolone. Uh, he was like, oh, did you get the pictures? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yo, can I show them? You know, can I, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of a video. You're ruining my video. I'm unboxing a, a special heart. But uh, listen, maybe, I don't know if this is the wrong time or not, but I just want to give everybody a heads up. It's already been a, a few days, but um, I just want to let ev everyone know, because uh, a lot of you guys are Bartolone fans. OBR fans, RC Max fans, engine fans, a lot of you guys that watch me, right? So just a little something, what's up? Um, some of you know, some of you don't know. I just want to give everybody a heads up. Uh, yo, Chris has been through a lot of stuff lately, a lot. I, I didn't mention stuff about, uh, Chris's mom passed away, so. I was with them. I was with Chris this time last year. I met his mom. Super cool woman. My wife met her, his mom. My kids met her, his mom. Uh, awesome lady, right? Awesome. Definitely a, a brat sister, all right? And, um, yeah, she was cool, man. She was cool. She was in great shape. A year goes by, she passes away, unfortunately. And may she rest in peace and our... our I prayed for many times already for her, and I'm, I'm sure now a lot of you guys that are aware of this probably do the same thing. And uh, just, you know, give Chris some time. Chris is working like a madman now, because that's how he stays, that's how he, that's his medicine, you understand? A lot, some people, you know, need the bottle or this or that, him, he is... He was there working till midnight, one o'clock in the morning, you know, after a long day. It's like, I, I, I know I was there. No shit. You, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not making nothing up. I was with them, you know. All right. So he's got Tate uh, helping him out and over there. He's got a bunch of people there working. They're, try, they're getting back. They're getting the show back on the road. All right. As you can see. But um, give the man some time. You know, email him if you want. I don't know if he can... I mean, he's got so much stuff going on. I'm sure he'll eventually glance at some stuff. But, you know, wish the man... Uh, give him some time. That's all I can say, you know. But, uh, so anyways, listen. Let's 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 make this video a, a, a good video. An excitement video. An energy pump video. Even though we're both tired. But today is a, is a good day. Because we're going to unbox a new heart. For Lou. 
All right, my man's been racing for years and he needs this engine. And he's going to do well. No, we haven't, we haven't even seen the engine yet. All right. And we almost cut this short here, but I, I just want to give you a heads up. This engine here is going to be different because everybody knows that Bartolone's the man for recases. He's got the specialty for the recases, the man for the recases, right? Well, and recases cost the most, recases are the most expensive, you know. Uh, well, for some newbies that are not aware of this, he can also modify one hell of a piston port. And reasonable price that, you know, so my man Lou right here, he's had many reed cases in the past, but today this is supposed to be one badass piston port. So we're going to check it out. Let's check it out. All right. This is a Bartolone piston port. What, what is this supposed to be, Lou, that we're about to see? It's supposed to be a 34. It's, it's supposed to be a 34 cc Bartolone Racing BR 34 piston port. All right, so my man can make some serious piston ports as well. All right, so let's go. Let's get back into the video. Shout out to Chris. My, our prayers are out to your mom and to your whole family. So hang in there, bro. Keep up the great work. Just stay busy, man. That's how I do it too. I, 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 I stay busy. That's how Lou is. Lou be wrenching away. Just focusing and just do it. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Right. Lou, you do the honors, kid. Yeah, we got here. Man, we got a nice shirt here. Yeah. Bottle on racing shirt. Is, uh... Okay, okay. okay. Oh, shit. You got a glory hole velocity stack, bro. Zat knock a fan with the correct gaskets. This is the gaskets that I always, I never have, and I have to use grease. Zat. Never, never you never have one of these. I'm so used to the holes. Wow, <laughs> the holes. Yeah, man. No holes, kid. Now you got. Serious, happy to see you whole right there, kid. Just so everybody knows, it's going on a brand new build. Other, brand new build. The other car is completely good for you, apart. brother. It's good for you. yo from the ground up. Well deserved. Good for you. You need it. You deserve it, bro. All right. You put in the time. You put in the work. Let's let's see. No more used motors. No, no more, more used motors. Stuff. No shortcuts. Right to the real deal. I got a. Uh, this came from Marvel. Marvel says stop. Buying old stuff. Marvell, big shout out to Marvell, Marvel. kid. You also have um, Dale. Dale. With the Pink Panther. Pink Panther, kid. Shout out to my boy old. Dale. That's right. Come up to the game. So here we go. My man. Time my man. My man, Lou. Yo, Lou is fresh. My man came into my house with some fresh kicks. Look at that. My man. Oh, Zach. Let's, let's get him. Now you're getting mean. Now we're getting pumped up again. That's what I'm talking about. We need this energy here. This is like a birthday cake, kid. It's Christmas early, bro. This is Christmas, kid. What do we got here, Lou? Oh, we got ourselves an... Whoa, damn. We got ourselves a nice modified card here. Zana Cafe, Zana. Good shit. What else? Oh, snap. We're going, getting... It's like an egg. Yeah, it's, it's like, egg. like an egg. Cracks it. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the middle. Oh, yeah. Now, right, let me take your time breaking this guy in. A couple of heat cycles here or there. There's a fall inside here, so it doesn't. Oh, move. shit. Nice. Oh, we're going to have to go in. Oh, you're going in. Oh, pull it up. Lift it up. We're going to have to go with a certain type of berth. Certain type of berth. Yeah, Let's do a C section. We'll go C section. Look, we got <laughs> Oh, look, he went light oh, no. and wheeled and everything. Oh, Zach. Yo, this is a serious piston port, son. Dry clutch and everything, kid. Yeah. You may want to change the spring to a higher one, but this may work just fine for you. Well, what a beauty, running, kid. Get it running and then we always do mild things. Though. Yeah. Oh, he he uh, modified this for you, bro. Oh, it's got to good breathe. Yeah. Oh, you got a special gasket here, too. Oh, damn. See, this is... Oh, man. Bro, I swore that I would never get another piston port. I'm so done with piston ports. I'm just recases forever. But bro, I I think I have to get a piston port now. This is a beautiful. This is a beautiful engine, bro. The inside looks like bling bling. Yeah, bro, all that, opened up. I can't show too much of the tricks. That, that's that's like really. That bitch is opened up, son. And this, listen, you got, you know I love getting rid of these intakes. But you got to keep this one because he modified this one. Yeah, this is port matched. That stays as is, yeah, not yeah. touching nothing. This, 
this intake here, unfortunately, not unfortunately, but this one's been modified from Chris, and it's been port matched. Not just port matched, it's been shaved. It's even smaller. So it's been milled. Look at this beauty. It also has Bartolone's light and flywheel. What a beauty, man. What a work of art. Yo, Chris. Oh, the back. He, he's, yo, you can still bash this. He yeah. just modified the the front. The back is still looks like still nice fans. Still cool. That's still cool, bro. Our 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 freaking engines, man. My shit can run all day. I don't know about yo that thing right there. This three year old, my three year old recase, can run all day. Okay, That's it's a generator, son. I can run all day. And it's been reliable. It's been reliable on my dragster. It's been reliable on this thing for two years. Look at this baby here. Look, oh, look at that beautiful exhaust part. I'm not going to show no more. And you got a nice, you, you, you have a special piston in there, Lou. I guess he does his magic. All right, now we just got to break it in. Now, this thing is going to take a while, but once it's broken in, the more and more you run it, the better and better it's going to be, bro. Yeah, just Lou, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm not shitting you, bro. This thing is better now, three years later, than it was three years ago. I'm not kidding. I shit you not. I shit you not. Chris was like, yo, you want to take it out and send it to me and I'll open it up some more for you. That's a drag mod from three years ago. I, but I'm like, no, my shit's running good, man. I told him my shit. <laughs> but but I, I told him, listen, but you know what he told me? He's like, if he opens that anymore, then it's just strictly drag motor, nothing else. That This is a great engine I can put on a basher, bro. I can take a, a Roven 45, stock Roven 45cc engine out, throw this bad boy in there and kick Ooh. ass. You know, have fun all day long with it. You know what I'm saying? But we're no, we no longer have to do that. Why? Because we're getting the Broven, son. But, uh, all right, back to this, man. Now I'm excited. Now I'm, we're in a good mood. Yeah, now we're in a good mood, kid. Look at that bling, bro. Yeah. Take your time. Break that sucker in. Bro, we're going to tune her in. We're going to do it over here. it in over here. That's, that's your carb that goes with that. That carb goes with that. And a velocity stack. So that sucker's going to breathe in nice, bro. All right. What I'll do is uh, I'll finish the car. Next week, this year. Okay. Next week. Next week. Uh, build, new chassis. Nice. Stay tuned, people. Everything. Next week, we're going to hear this heart come to life. And I'm not going to give the name. There's one person who saw pre-pictures, and he loves it. Awesome, awesome. One, one, one person. Oh, good stuff, man. Do you... I got to show you pre-pictures. Okay, I got to <laughs> check it out. I got to check it out. Yo, Lou just showed me some... That, his build is coming out sweet, man. Really nice, beautiful. So he's got a one-of-a-kind... Well, he's got a special... Baja chassis. All right, we will show it to you next week. Yeah, it'll be done by next week. All right, and we'll talk about it. And um, it's going to be pretty cool. Pretty it's, cool. It's custom like Bart's truck. Like Bart's truck right here, kid. I did something chopped there. I did something <laughs> chopped here. <laughs> Bartolome's K5 Blazer, man. Thing is sick. This thing is badass. Wow. Now we're talking, Chris. This is some Chevy power right here, man. Some, this is a beautiful Chevy, kid. What? Super nice, nice job, bro. Nice job, kid. What? Oh, man. Damn, even got leather covered the wheel wells here? Damn, I can't believe this was a K5 Blazer, bro. This is badass. Holy shit. Damn. No top, man. It's a good thing. Well, suicide doors, what? This is the clean one though. This is next level, bro. Sick rims, beautiful rims. Oh my God, look underneath. Underneath is all powder coated up. Damn, even the chassis. Oh, sweet, man. LS motor right here, huh? Yeah. Vet motor. Yep. Damn. Very nice. Sick big ass radiator. Damn, look at, no wheel wells, huh? Damn, look at well, that we're gonna, fucking We're going to build some, but... What the... F we're going to make some. Sweet, man. Damn, maybe... Yeah, these are great engines, man. My God, I cut a hole in my freaking hood and popped the air filter out. 
But yo, man, sweet job, man. You did a nice job, kid. Very nice. Look at this. Wow, oh, really? Freaking billet, steering wheel, billet, shifter, column shifter. Very nice. Had fun on that one today. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Beautiful heart here. A piston port. Can you believe it? What? A piston port? Badass piston port right here. A real motor. Awesome, man. Brand new. Full Lou. Wow. Finally, Lou. Finally, kid. Man. <laughs> this is going to work good. Ah, congrats, man. Congratulations, Thank bro. Lord, look out. <laughs> good shit, man. All right. Until next time, all right? Stay tuned. We got lots going on, bro. Welcome back. I think we're, I'm just gonna put this happy to see you carburetor, velocity stack here, glory hole, on this here before Lou goes home. And, and pop that spark plug in here. Just close up these holes. Put a little tape in his exhaust port. All right, we're gonna torque everything up nice for Lou. So all he's gotta do is just finish up his, his build. You decide what you're gonna do with that, if you wanna keep this spring or not. Oh, right for now and then change it later on or change it now we can change it now yeah put something that's good you know that's an eight thousand it's an eight thousand but it, this is a modified clutch that he did right so it, it's gonna feel like a nine thousand all right it's gonna feel like a nine thousand he's just just run it as is like that, yeah you can do that yeah we just run it as is play with the gears i can take out a motor yeah. real quick right now. yeah swap it and uh this this clutch has been modified from him all right so I mean, he really modified this one. He even took some padding out. So this clutch here, I wouldn't bash with it. Right? He did a an extra mod job here. He shaved it, a lot of it down. He lightened it, and but he also took some padding out. So strictly drag race this one. What do we got here? Gasket. Look at to match these holes. Match these pour. Nice and big holes yeah and then the glory hole velocity stack you guys or no you got to have to use some grease and on this one here you know i love team fast ID grease without a doubt but on this one here it's only proper to use the bartolone grease everything has bartolone on this build here and this guy here that's some good shit right here too no questions this is serious stuff this is serious. This ain't no. This is also. Oh shoot! Oh shit! Me, fuck! Yeah, I don't know, man. Look at this. Hold that here. Then you want to lube this guy up. Let's go around. I'm gonna bring this over there. You want to put this on first. Um, torque it down, but I'm over here rushing around. That's it, Lou Burrow. All right, people, so let's get this on here. This is the gasket I always never have. Now I do have some extras. But um, if you don't have these, at least put throw some grease. Throw some grease around there, all right? Where's that screw? This is one-handed, people, any questions? So this is the best way to install all this. Gasket, carburetor, gasket, velocity stack, okay? Then you mount her on here. I'm Loctite. Get the, the torque wrench. Now let me show you the torque wrench. I've showed it many times in the past. Many of you guys bought, got the same one from this one. But I'm gonna show it again. Today, my friend Demetrius, uh, called me up today. I helped him out with his Roven 45 CC and He had an issue with his Harbor Freight torque wrench. So I give him part numbers to this guy here This is what you want people All right, this is a tecton All right, it's not the most expensive, but it's not the cheap sh shit either tecton trq 
2-1-1-0-1. You want this, people. I'm getting me another one because I'm going to have one that stays here at all times and one to carry. So this one here, since it's done many, many jobs, even bicycles. This one here I'll be carrying with me. And my brand new one of this will be staying here. All right, we're going to do a toolbox video. <laughs> I keep saying that, holy shit. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Wait for fuck. snow in the summer, John. All right, snow, snow in the summer. Snow in the summer. Oh, damn, bro. All right, people, so I put this guy over to 65-inch pounds. Boom, done. Done. Double check. Any questions, kid? All right, brother, you ready for that 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 glory hole? Look at this. Look at this work of art. Look at this. Sah. Nice all greased up, all sealed up. Where are them screws at? We need Loctite on them. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. Sucking that air, kid. Sucking in that. This piston port. Whoa. Not many piston ports are happy to see you. This one. Re cases are damn happy to see you. What? What? But. This boy right here is happy to see you, kid. Look at that. Even with a mill down intake. Happy to see you. Lock tight these guys and hand tight these, man. Just snug them. Snug them. All right, it's a three mil. We're going to use the, like a gentleman MIP. And we're going to use like a gentleman Bartolone tool, the handle. Be on the lookout, DDM for these. Look at this. Huh? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Holy shit, you got this on good with your hands alone. Yeah. Man. Yeah, you put more than... Wow. <laughs> good hands. You put, you put enough uh, Loctite? Yeah. Good. What? Oh, yeah. She is nice and snug now. What? See, you guys could get a quality badass engine for a good price, a reasonable price like this. There's a modified case, a modified. You don't have to have the whole bling bling all the time. You can still spank that ass, even though it's not a reed case engine. But no, I just, a nice engine like this, man, what, are you kidding me, man? I can put this on, on many things. You can put this on, you can put this heart on so many cars, people. So many. Bajas, low C5 Ts. Oh, man, MTXLs. Forget it. I can put it on, you can have a blast. It's probably too much for an off-road, uh... For a Baja 5B. It's not be too much. Oh, Zach. Take this thing, take that crank. Twin in there. Look at that. Sticking out just like that. Yeah. With the pannier. Now, Lou, <laughs> take that intake, bro. Happy to see you. My, gift, on it? my gift to you. That air filter right there was the first air filter. To put a Baja in the three seconds. Oh, that's so, a good luck piece. That's a good luck piece. It's, it's also happy to see you, as you can see. <laughs> you can see that, boy. It's happy to see you. With this bad boy, <laughs> it'll match with uh, what I showed you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will. Yeah, yeah. Good shit, man. Let's take it, take it. Put it on here now. Let's seal her up. You remove it. You can remove it off my boy right there. Check it out, people. Huh? Let's look. Now I got this. Is the version one glory hole from Bartolone. See the difference? Now this one here the is no longer being made. I love. I, I was a fan of these. I wish he still had more of these. But 
you need a special tool for this and this is what it looks like some of you guys may know of this but there was an issue what the hell is it uh, there it is see this i put my yellow tape uh, signature tape on everything but see that's the tool that's how you snug that's how you snug that up okay and this really fine thread the problem is newbies mess them up and then you this new generation today after they mess something up they think oh i'm just gonna return it i want my money back no it doesn't work that way you fucked it up it's your fault your problem because you're an idiot you have to admit that to yourself like when I started out and messing shit up over there, I admitted it to myself. I messed up. That's the difference. Because you guys always think you're never, it's never your fault. It's never you. It's never you. But it is you, bro. It was you. Anyways, make a long story short. Uh, people just kept stripping the damn uh, fine thread. They kept stripping it. And what, what people had to do, and you cannot Loctite that. You had to use grease. All right, you got to use grease on the threads. Otherwise, you never take this off in the future. You know, so yeah, so you pop that on. You, you, uh, as you can see, this is a 990 carb, modified from Bartolone. Three years old. I never took this engine apart. The only thing I did two years ago was install a Lightning flywheel from Gizmo Motors in here. All right, Bartolone did not want me to put the Dark Soul flywheel in here. I am a fan of the Dark Soul Flywheel. I love the Dark Soul Flywheel, and I will always have them here and being used on other engines. But when Bartolo told me not to use it on this engine, I listened to him and I did that. I do not have the Dark Soul in here. I did use, he said, use the Gizmo one. I showed him a picture of it. Uh, he didn't have time to make me one. He liked the one that Gizmo did, and that's what I used. All right, so here. Oh, you see a little bit of nice, beautiful Dominator oil. Dominator, son. Dominator. Also tacky. Oh, that's good shit, man. Look at that. It even stained my uh, my stone here, my filter stone here. That's what, uh, this is my breather, my vent. Yeah, so, look at that. Happy to see you, kid. What, what? Like a swap test. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she good. <laughs> All right, so. <sighs> Yeah, yeah you can really feel it. I'll always put a air filter. Some people don't run air filters, but uh, at least put something there. Obviously, <laughs> all right, all right. So let's throw that air filter in here. Just one more look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Yeah, that's brand new. Yeah. <clears throat> so all right, so it's this a is. Wire cut. So if you just turn it around. <clears throat> Lou needs a, a good air filter. All right, this no. one here. Is a great air filter. This one is, I think, a. I don't know how. This is not old. This is probably what a year old. I have to look at my videos. I got this at uh, Track Day Hobbies. I also have other ones here. This is different. This one's from Roven. This one has a, a different. Um, it's much wider. It's, it's huge. It's huge. It's like wide. This one's from Roven, and it comes with its own velocity stack. All right, but for me to use the Glory Hole velocity stack, you got to use this. All right. There's also other good air filters, people. And it's a shame. And I hope they come back out. I heard rumors of them being out of business or stop making them. Bro, we need this, man. Especially even people even using this to drag race. And they're kicking ass. Look at this. This is awesome for off-road. This is like a HEPA filter. You don't ever oil this. You blow it out with an air compressor. What a wonderful air filter. And they breathe well. And they, they protect your engines well. And here's the, an outerwear. So that, this with an outerwear is the perfect combination. You could race, bash, whatever. I like these air filters. All right. Uh, I heard that they even make nitro ones. I even have nitro air filters of that. that. All right, here's one. Here's one here. I got one upstairs. This is a, awesome. Try to get them before there are no more. You can't get them no more. It's crazy. Um, we need these back out. Uh, what else? What else? There was another one. Oh, how can I forget? And this one's proven to kick ass right from Bartolone himself. You can, if you're drag racing, just keep this air filter. If you're off-road racing, all right, so this air filter right here is the one that's won world champions. All right, MOD uses these air filters. All right, 
Matt Olson himself. All right? And my man kicks ass, wins world race champions. All right? Not only him, many other guys as well. Been running these over there in California, off-road racing. They go to Canada. They race in Canada. This, this is badass. Now, you can also, if you were drag racing, you can run this boy right here. You don't, don't run this. You can run this just for more air, all the air you can, and it's, it will protect your engine. But for off-road, you better have all these on. <laughs> and the outerwear, and it comes with. So this here, I don't know if you can buy it like this. I got this right from Bartolone's shop when I was there. If you can get this from DDM, that's awesome. I don't know if it's separate, but everything came in here. I got outerwears, I got two air filters. It's pretty crazy. There's no part number in here. So this is the one I got from Bartolone's shop when I was in California. Oh, shit. A modified piston part. A modified BR34 piston part. What? Hold that up there, kid. Hold that up. Hold that up. Put it sideways there, kid. Zah. Hold up. This is going to be a thumbnail right here. I wish I would have recorded that. Lou's all excited. Yes. My man's saying he never owned anything that pretty. and I was at the scratch and dent sale. My... <laughs> Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Lou's like, oh, I only had the scratch and dent stuff. Oh, man. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, deserve that, kid. Bigger, yeah, man. All right, so something I want to bring up here. I'm sorry to keep going with this video. All right, but look at that. See that wall? You're not going to get any dirt whatsoever behind... Just this is worth the damn money on its own. This velocity stock will help save your engine. Hold that again a little for us. This velocity stock will save your engine. It's unbelievable. So look, I have one side out. All right, it's going to fit really snug. You want to, all right, so what I did was I got something sharp. Obviously, you're not going to cut it. I'm going to have a reverse blade. You can use a flathead, whatever. And you tuck it in, and it goes right in between. It fits perfectly right in, be right in between the stack and your bolt. See that? See that? Now, this filter, the wall of this filter, of the throat, is on a back, uh, on a wall. So you're not going to get any dirt behind here. You understand? It's not like these cheaper velocity stacks, right, that... that mess up your airflow all right see this? this is just straight out all right you're gonna get dirt air in there the air filter here this whole seam is visible do you understand what i'm saying people if if when you have an air filter here the whole seam all right this is the back the behind of a, all right here's another one here's another one all right here look at this look at this this here it doesn't have no tape and nothing so your air filter gets on here right and then boom where does it stop your air, if you push the airflow too hard, it's going to come out too much. It's going to pass your velocity stack. So what are you going to do? You're going to put a flush? All right, so you put a flush, then what? And it's going to be in this groove here. All right, so you have a seam all the way around. You got a seam in there. You're going to get shit, dirt, dirt, and dust in there, bro. You understand? So that alone is important to save your engines, man. But forget about that. What about performance-wise and nice airflow? Yeah, so you're getting good things with that. Well, check, check this out yeah this spark plug is barely this spark plug is loose people loose right just barely in here right well, should we just go like this i'm not a tool stopped that's 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 not even on the washer no it's not even on the washer <sighs> it's got some compression it's not even tight wow Holy fuck, look at this. Damn. You see? It just went, it just turned over. Now you got one, see? Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at my hands. Look at my fingers. Look, They're indented. Look. Yeah. Wow. Let's snuggle up. 